Hi, Jay Atluski with Desert Home Sales Group uh, here at Remax Professionals. In this quick video, I just want to outline our May 2015 real estate market statistics, and I'm going to compare them to May in 2014. So, uh, first thing we look at is the number of monthly sales. Now, that has gone up almost 12%. We're just over 8,300 sales in May. Um, as far as inventory, as I've been telling people for months now, our inventory continues to drop. From May of 2014 till this year, we've dropped 15% in the number of active homes. Um, we're down to 24, just over 24,000. So that's still higher than the 16, 17 we were two years ago, but that's less than half of where we were back in the recession. Uh, the monthly supply or month supply is something that real estate agents look at more than anybody else, but we just dropped under three months. And, and when I talk about this, I mean the total number of homes that are available divided by the number of sales we had in May. If no more homes came on the market in less than three months, we'd have nothing for sale. So it's kind of a, I guess say it's a real estate agent kind of stat, but it's interesting to watch because if you're two, three months worth of inventory, you're really in a seller's market. I mean, we may or may not even realize we are right now, but with more sales, less inventory, we got less than three months worth of inventory on the market. Um, well, back in the recession, we had six, seven months, um, eight months. Uh, so you can see our market has changed. Uh, to finish up this report, let's just talk about the, the average sale price. Uh, a year ago, it was 247. Uh, this year it's 268, so that's about a 9% increase in pricing. So it really does make sense when you have high monthly sales, the inventory is reducing itself, you have less to, to choose from, but more people buying, uh, that's going to drive the prices up and up. So 9% good, healthy increase. Uh, I'd love to see 7, 8, 9% every year for the rest of my life. Uh, let's not see the, the drops. Let's not see the high increase in numbers. Um, as far as foreclosures, um, that's dropped considerably again. We, we went almost 21% less foreclosures this year than last. Um, it's really a non-starter anymore in our market. Uh, there's a few out there, but not enough to, to really affect our market anymore. Average days on the market dropped two days. Um, you know, we were 81, now we're or we 83, now we're 81. So again, that's more of a, you know, a real estate agent kind of matrix. But I just wanted to, to give you this quick outline. So sales are strong, inventory is dropping, foreclosures are gone, prices are going up. Um, great news for sellers. If you're thinking about buying your or selling your home, this could be a, an awesome time to investigate the value of your home and see if we can get you uh, what you want out of it. Uh, if you're thinking about buying a home and you've been putting off your purchase, um, just looking from last year to this year, you cost yourself $21,000 in price increase. Um, nobody knows what the next year will bring, but for the most part, we look at a two to three, two to four year strong market. So if you wait another year, that could cost you another $20,000, uh, totaling $40,000 just for waiting two years. So might be time to get off the fence and think about it. Um, every market and community is a little bit different. So feel free to, to reach out to us here at Desert Home Sales Group and we can give you details on each individual market or community and what's happening there. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you need us, we're at deserthomesalesgroup.com. Take care.